Hello everybody, so it is day seven of the Ultimate Reset and I just wanted to give you guys a little update about how things are going. I know I didn't get to post a video every single day, I kind of combined a few days together. Um, that's just the way it goes. I, sh you know, set out to do 21 videos, but that didn't happen. Um, I'd rather shoot for 21 than shoot for none and just share with you guys my experience. So I kind of have a funny story for you guys. And um, I'm going to be going grocery shopping later today, and I'm hoping that I can take you guys along with me on that trip because I know a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, you spent $217 on your first trip, and this one I know is going to be a lot um, a lot less than that because I, I've kind of like got down a system of how I'm doing the program, and um, I don't have to stockpile like I did the first time. So um, the funny part, so remember back in video in day two, where I was showing you guys my bloat, which was definitely from being bloated. But last night, right before dinner, I realized that I had been taking the wrong supplements for the entire week. Yeah, and I was getting really frustrated because um, I was only seeing about like a three pound loss, which I wasn't frustrated, that's not the issue. The, the weight is not the issue. I always start with that and then I have to backtrack. Um, but what is the issue is I was so bloated all the time. I was texting my friends I had done the reset and, and telling them just how bloated I was feeling and like to the point where after I ate it really hurt. Um, and then last night and everyone was telling me no, you know, they didn't feel this way and everyone's different. I thought, okay, well next week is, is detox week. Um, and so maybe that'll go away. Maybe just transitioning from eating, you know, not car, not barely any carbs at all, to a lot of carbs um, with with the rice and the beans and the and the vegetables and things like that. So I was just gonna, you know, keep going strong. Well, then last night after dinner, I realized I didn't take my supplements. And if you don't take your supplements right away, you have to go take um, them two hours after dinner or something. I don't remember after dinner a certain time. And I went to take them, and I was like, adding up the pills of the, of the um, supplements I thought I was taking, I'm like, wait a minute, there's not enough supplements for the rest of the reset, this doesn't make any sense. Then I went and looked, and I was taking the wrong supplements the entire time. I was taking the supplements that you're supposed to take on the last week of the reset, which is the week where you're like restoring your gut, and you know, you're giving back all of those good, healthy um, probiotics and prebiotics, and that's basically what I was taking, and I was taking a lot of it, and I shouldn't have been. So that, you know what, week one is done, and well, it'll be done at the end of today, but um, that was my mistake. Make sure that you slow down, and you take your time, and you make sure that you're taking the right supplements. I guess I just wasn't thinking, because I used to, I take this supplement um, on a daily basis anyways, even before I did the reset, and um, I just, I had another bottle of it, so I think maybe that's why I thought, I have no idea. Either way, that was the issue. Um, I'm feeling good this morning. I woke up about five pounds down. I started at 139 pounds, and today I was at 134 pounds. Um, I pretty much stuck with the diet. Um, like it says, there has been a few days where um, I, after dinner, I have grabbed some Cheez-Its, I'm not gonna lie but I haven't had any alcohol. Today is day 16 of that for me. And last night was really tough. I really, really wanted to um, have some wine. I actually took the wine out of the wine rack and put it in the fridge. And I was like pacing around the kitchen telling my husband, I'm just gonna have some, I'm just gonna have some. And uh, he he was just laughing at me. So I texted three of my friends, um, figuring one of them would tell me, just drink it, you already made it to day 15. And each and every one of them told me, no, don't do it. You you know, push through, you're gonna be fine. And um, I'm just so thankful to have friends like that in my life because before I became a beach body coach and before I was introduced to this health and fitness world, you know, my friends weren't like that. And, um, and they just never really pushed me to do better. And so I'm so thankful to have those people in my life. And I'm so thankful that I made it through last night. This weekend should be interesting. So today's Tuesday. This weekend should be interesting because we are going camping with a lot of our friends and the and in my family. And the hard part is not gonna be following the meal plan because I actually, as you saw in the other video, went to the lake, I meal prepped, I, I had all that, so I can do that. Um, but the alcohol is definitely gonna be um, hard because you know everyone's gonna probably have some drinks and um, 
it's just like what I grew up around and things like that. So, but I plan on staying strong and pushing through to the end because when you do something like this, whether it be, you know, challenging yourself to 30 days of no alcohol or following the ultimate reset, you really are going to build your self-confidence. But the, the thing that I have to talk about, and now I'm rambling and this is probably just going to be a video just like this to update you guys on day seven and we'll do the grocery vlog in another video. But when you do something like that and you commit to yourself, you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for anybody else. And you decide that you're doing it for yourself, you will stick to it and you will push through and you'll get there and you will build self-confidence. That is how you build self-confidence. And when you build self-confidence like that, and any any time you like up your self-confidence, you're gonna do better in your life like all around. And that's a great feeling. So if you are thinking, you know, you're stuck in life and and you're just frustrated or maybe with your health and fitness journey or you want to get started the best thing that i can say to gain momentum to be successful in anything is to first build your self-confidence as quickly as you can so commit to yourself do something and follow through with it for let's say like i don't know like 21 or 30 days i think it needs to be like something where you're committing and you're gonna stay strong and you're gonna do it now, I am staying strong to the alcohol. Like I told you earlier, I did have some Cheez-Its the other night, but that's okay. I'm going to get back up. I'm going to keep going. Um, anyways, so anyways, that's how things are going. I am feeling better today, and I can't wait to get on the right track with the supplements. Um, I'm just going to pick up where I left off. I'm not going to, like, restart anything um, because I did this, this alternate reset in a certain specific time frame that I had for myself in order, um, because June is really, really, really busy for us. So I'm, I'm just going to, you know, chalk it up to it is what it is and, um, get on the right supplements and then, uh, finish out and see where we're at. I still think I'm going to have a pretty good results and I'm still doing max 30. Um, today was week three and, um, day one, I guess. <laughs> losing my mind and actually I was able to not modify as much as I have been which is exciting because I was having some issues with my um my hip flexor and anyways that's feeling better I've been stretching and getting massages and things like that to heal that and I feel like I have a ton of energy like I know they say not to work out and your body is rehealing and restoring itself but um Max 30 is like, I don't know, my therapy. I love that program. All right, well, thank you guys for watching this vlog. If you've made it to the entire almost eight minutes, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with anybody that you think it would help. And if you have any questions or you need any help with your health and fitness or just reaching goals in your life or you are thinking about you want to make a change, just shoot me an email, ashleybeeman at ashleybeeman.com and I will be happy to help you. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.